Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download a season's data pack on your server. The seasonal calendar data pack adds a sense of time to Minecraft. It firstly adds a simple time system that you can check by looking at the top of your hotbar. There you'll be able to see what day of the week it is, the time, and what season the world is currently in. The number next to the season name is what day of the season you're currently at. In total, there are 21 days in each season. Secondly, it also keeps track of the weather. In the morning, you'll get a daily weather forecast with some of the weather types possible being sunny, momentary raining, stormy, and many others. During your gameplay, some special events can happen if you're doing something in a specific season. One of those events is that when players are near bees in spring, there's a chance of receiving a speed boost effect. Another is that when players are swimming in the summer, there's a chance of receiving a dolphin's grace effect. If you thought that was it though, you thought wrong. You can open global and personal settings by typing in the command trigger seasonal calendar. At the top of the menu, you can click to uninstall the data pack, reset it or edit what season you're in. Below, there are some other options you can tweak depending on how you like your gameplay. Right about now, you're probably wondering how you can download this data pack and play with it on your server. Well, don't worry, as I'll be showing you how to do so in the next segment. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. When you're there, simply scroll down until you see the From GitHub button. When you click that button, it'll redirect you to a GitHub page. Once that page is loaded, you want to click on the first file under the Assets heading to download the data pack zip. Then, you want to click on the second file to download the resource pack zip. After those files have finished downloading, we recommend dragging them to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. The creator states that this data pack is suitable for the versions 1.15 to 1.17, so I've set my server to the version 1.17.1. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Then, what you're going to do is head to the Files tab, click on your World folder and then the Data Packs folder. Here's where you're going to drag the seasonal calendar data pack zip you downloaded at the beginning of the video. And that's it, the data pack is uploaded onto your world. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, you'll have to make sure the required resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the Files tab and open the server.properties file. There, look for the line saying Resource Pack, and after the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required resource pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like, you can use our link. It'll be in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hotlinks and put your own hotlink into the server.properties file. Before continuing, make sure to press save file to confirm all the changes. And then all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by heading to the dashboard and copying the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. When you join the server, you'll now be able to experience different seasons in Minecraft. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.